Good morning. What a great day it is. A day to live and glorify God. And I pray that you shall truly enjoy his presence and his word as we meditate will become a guidance for your life. Today's meditation is actually taken from the book of Acts chapter 8, a passage starting from verse 26 through 40. And the title is, You Can Trust God to Direct You Path and Satisfy Someone Else by Using You. The passage chosen for today's meditation is about Philip as we see him in the book of Acts chapter 8. Now because of the persecution, most of the believers living in the city of Jerusalem, because remember, Jerusalem was the city where the church started and uh, the, most of the believers and in fact, all of the believers were in the city of Jerusalem. But because of persecution, believers who are scattered, the Bible says, except for the apostles, all of the Christians, believers who are scattered, and they, were, they, were, they, 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 they ran to the neighboring cities and nations. And uh, the Bible also says, wherever they went, they began to declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. Persecution did not frighten them, it emboldened them. And uh, Philip, one of the followers of Christ, went to the city of Samaria. And he began to preach and declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit began a mighty revival in that city by using Philip to declare the gospel, the good news to them. And many, many began to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, seeing the mighty miracles that followed his preaching. The lesson today is how the Holy Spirit directs the life committed to Jesus to accomplish God's purposes and plans not only for himself, but also for others through him. And I encourage you to the passage I, uh, I have quoted in the book of Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 40, to read this passage carefully after this meditation. And then after reading, try to remember what you heard today. Remember, Philip was not an apostle. He was not among the twelve, one of the twelve. He was a committee member chosen to, to wait upon tables and also to solve problems. Now, don't imagine that the preaching of the gospel and the miracles happening you need to have uh, some special qualifications and titles. No. Everyone who believes in the Son of God and committed himself or herself is an eligible candidate to share the gospel and bring others into the knowledge of salvation and also to perform miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. So the first thing I would like to bring to your attention in the, from this passage is this. We can trust God to guide our steps. Philip was full of the Holy Spirit. And he was also open to the Spirit. He was sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Do you want to be directed by the Holy Spirit and used by the Holy Spirit? then follow the steps. We should not grieve the Holy Spirit. That is the first step. If you are a born-again Christian and are filled with the Holy Spirit, then you must know that the Holy Spirit comes to live in you. 
and that holy spirit in you should not be grieved that is the first step do not grieve the holy spirit with whom you are sealed for the day of redemption remember how important holy spirit is in a christian's life he not only baptizes you in the holy ghost and power to be his witnesses then uh, he wants you to be filled with the holy spirit which is a daily experience that you may live a victorious life and a useful and fruitful life and the danger of grieving the holy spirit is quoted in the book of isaiah chapter 63 verse 10 now we read these words in that verse the the prophet is praying to god and confessing he says in spite of all the miracles that the people of israel have seen and witnessed yet they rebelled and grieved the holy spirit i am reading this verse in isaiah so he turned and became their enemy who god and he himself fought against them This is the danger of a grieving the holy spirit that's why this instruction is so important you must see that you don't grieve the holy spirit you grieve the holy spirit by ignoring his voice or by neglecting his command and by disobeying his prompting remember and when you grieve the holy spirit god himself will rise against you and to fight against you very dangerous and that is the danger of grieving the holy spirit and the sin against the holy spirit is unpardonable and now new testament example is how serious city one can be affected uh, and punished by grieving the holy spirit in the new testament is book of acts chapter 5 verses 1 to 10 where a husband and wife team disobeyed the holy spirit and thus grieved the holy spirit ananias and sapphira and in that passage judgment came immediately and so many times judgment do, do not to fall on us so quickly and immediately we take it for granted that god is pleased with us even while grieving the holy spirit and ignoring the holy spirit to prompting my friends again let the scripture be the source of your knowledge concerning the ministry of the holy spirit you read the book of i mean the gospel according to st john chapter 16 where clearly uh, uh, Jesus Christ has taught us the ministries of the holy spirit so yield yourself to the holy spirit and be obedient honor the holy spirit by being baptized with the holy spirit and then being filled with the holy spirit as a daily experience philip walked and lived in the spirit he was therefore used by the holy spirit and the holy spirit directed him you know what happened he went to samaria started preaching the gospel of jesus christ people started coming hundreds and hundreds the whole city uh, samaria received the gospel mighty miracles had happened and right in the middle of that great city revival and the whole city of samaria got converted with the mighty miracles the holy spirit came and interrupted and directed philip to leave the city and start walking and take a road a particular road as the holy spirit directed him if philip had been a a a, a, a fleshly carnal believer or a christian he would have missed god's 
greater and higher plans and purposes for his life. And the second thing we notice is Philip's obedience resulted in the conversion of a hungry soul. He was a very high-ranking official under Queen of Ethiopia. He was in charge of all the treasury and the finances of that country. And he was in Jerusalem to worship Jehovah God. And the Holy Spirit saw his hunger. And for this God, hunger for this God about whom he was reading and directed Philip towards the chariot in which he was returning to Ethiopia from Jerusalem after worshipping God. Philip saw him reading the scriptures and he was reading from the prophet Isaiah chapter 53. And the Bible also says that Philip asked him, are you reading and are you understanding what you are reading? To which uh, the Ethiopian eunuch said, no, I don't understand. You know, reading without understanding is, can be very boring. And yet, the action of this Ethiopian, reading the scriptures without understanding, is a rebuke to those who say and use this as an excuse. They don't read the scriptures because they don't understand. And this man was eager to know and know this God. And that eagerness opened his heart to the saving grace of God. And he was saved, baptized, and turned around after baptism to thank and, 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 and to get further direction from Philip. And Philip was nowhere to be seen. He was changed, saved, and went back to Ethiopia, the Bible says, rejoicing. God used him, I believe, in Ethiopia to preach this good news and spread Christian faith in Ethiopia. This was God's greater and higher plan and purposes for Philip's life. God accomplished his larger purposes because one man was willing to be guided by the Holy Spirit and be obedient. Now my brother and my sister, you are listening to this. Listen, our God is not partial. He is no respecter of person. He is no respecter of place. What he did through Philip to this Ethiopian, God is able to do for you as well. So remember the title of this meditation. Trust God to be guided by God and to satisfy someone else. If you are willing to obey the guidance of the Holy Spirit to go somewhere, you go because there is somebody waiting for you. You may not know him, but if you follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, because you have been, a pray, you have been praying, he will take you to that man and he will let you know by the Holy Spirit how to minister to that person. See, Philip was available to the Holy Spirit and he was willing to be guided by the Holy Spirit. He was not carnal or fleshly believer, 
to say, no, there is a great revival is happening and I am being used of God and I cannot leave. My brother, my sister, there is a greater and a higher purpose of God that he wants to accomplish through you. This will be for your advantage and for your happiness. Follow him and trust God not only to use you but to change someone else and bless someone else. And you will never know whom you will touch by the hand of faith and allow the Holy Spirit to transform him and that person might become one of the mightiest preachers of the gospel. You will never know. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and be available to the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every person who listened to this message. This meditation, Lord, many times we, we don't follow because we feel that the work we are at present doing is very, very important. I cannot leave that, this place. And thus we miss out on the larger plan of God. And so we must learn to think all God's move from God's perspective and not our human perspective. And be obedient. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brother, my sister. And this is a great day. And enjoy this day. Have a good day.